welcome back to the channel another day another storage unit to get this is a 10 by 15 paid 230 dollars for it. it's friday i just needed a few more pieces of furniture for the weekend and so i bid on this unit not a whole lot to it i don't think i'm by myself i got plenty of room though i'm it's definitely not going to be a full load i just brought this big truck because there's a few big pieces that makes it easier when you have a lot of space instead of trying to cram really big stuff into a you know big furniture into a tight spot especially when you're by yourself because you can't it's kind of hard to pick stuff up and stack it and all that kind of thing but we're out here it's cloudy it's breezy it feels pretty good certain and not really fall like but definitely not that scorching hot summer type weather but let's take a look at this thing let me step back here But if we look in here, let's see. A couple just miscellaneous chairs, but there's a living room set back there. Hopefully, maybe it's a decent one. But we've got, look here, we got a toolbox, desk, artwork. We got, looks like an antique bed. Big headboard, footboard, side rails. Um, maybe a matching dresser here. We'll have to get that sp spun around here in a minute. Here is a coat rack. It's not a bad one. It's, it's solid wood. It does have a little bit of damage there. Um, if we look back toward the back, there's a kind of a unique, different, um, like grandfather clock back there. Some other, maybe electronic items. I don't know. Not sure what else we got going back there. We have some other old pieces back there. Chest freezer. Chest freezer. You couldn't see that at all in the um, in the pictures. This right here, this rack, I'm not sure what this is for, but this is really cool looking. When we, uh, here in a minute, we'll get it. I think it sits on this end, and I'll stand it up and show you. And then if we look over here, we got an old chair. That's pretty cool. Look at the back on that, all the, um, all the spindles. Looks in good shape from here. That looks like a nice rug, like a handmade rug. Another antique piece. So several just antique furniture pieces. We got a Coke crate right here missing's in rough shape half the bottom of it's missing what's in this bag right here oh, nothing empty bag um and the lamps actually these are pretty nice lamps they just need to be cleaned up these right here we got all these white that's a pair that one and that one then we got a pair here but two pairs and then two individual but pretty nice lamps they're older ones let's look under here there's some coke bottles or something here Some of them have coke in it. I don't know if any of these are actually anything. Dude, that had a bunch of dirt in it. Just dumped out. That one's marked Atlanta. Marietta. It's Marietta, Georgia. Just a bunch of just kind of really just plain coke bottles. Fort Valley. And I believe this is a sewing machine once we get it spun around. But... There is a witch's hat and some little wood trim pieces in here. A bunch of wood trim. I don't know. Oh my goodness. It's like, um, some of the spikes like would be like in a, um, carpet, like carpet strips, but I don't know exactly what these are. If this is carpet strips or what. Light up Atlanta, June 29th through 30th, 1984. Okay, and there is some artwork here. Hold on, let me switch the camera to my chest mount so I can use both hands. All right, here we go. We got a standard little kind of 80s, 90s looking mirror. What is this here? Let's see. This is kind of cool. It is signed down here. It looks like, um, not really sure exactly, like a street in Europe somewhere. If I come over here, Colonna Antonia looks like um, Italy. So that looks like a little bit older picture. Here's another one, kind of the same. Almost, I think it might be the same thing, just a different angle. kind of cool the only bad thing it's got 
Okay, it's not, I thought it was like um, paint specks, but it's actually like little chips all in it. Aristotle, contemplating the bust of Homer. Yeah, that would have been pretty cool if it wasn't all chipped up like that. All right, there's a big old, oh, two of these big glass mirrors laying on top of this dresser here. But I'm about to have to go, oh, here we go. Let's move this. When we get, when I start having to load this furniture, like I said, I'm all by myself, so I'm going to have to go into He-Man mode here and get all this stuff on here. All right. That is for something specific. I don't know what exactly it's for, though. I'm not sure. Hmm. I'll have to figure that out. But if you kind of look at the design of it, like something that's, I don't know, something slides in and hangs down or I'm not exactly sure. All right, let's take a look in the toolbox here. I'm kind of move this stuff out of the way. The lamp with the, I mean, the table with the built-in lamp. Got a few extension cords there. All right, the toolbox, it's got a little weight to it. Feels like it's probably full. All right, let's see. And yeah, this thing has got a lot of tools in it. Sockets. That's nice right there, look at all them drill bits. Drill bits, what is in here? Stephen Walden Incorporated. More drill bits. So lots of tools right here. Lots of sockets. Big pipe wrench, a lot of sockets. Man. All right, let's keep on looking. And they're all full of tools. We got little Allen wrenches. There's a sheath for something, but it's missing. Here's a little sheath. And okay, it's a sharpening stone in there. Some box um, box cutters. Keep on looking here. That door doesn't want to close. Okay, let's see. There we go. Something underneath this, I guess. Screwdrivers. Screwdrivers. What do we have here? Just various tools, Allen wrenches, and some putty knives. There's a clamp. There's a little tester. What do we have in here? A little um, nut drive set. Keep on going down. Oh, we got the wrenches. Lots of wrenches. Craftsmen. Some on just aren't marked. Forged in the USA. Craftsmen. Okay, that's one of them there. Alright, let's keep going down. Uh oh, what in the world? We got some we got some big old snips here, and then what is this? We got some gold sill scissors, made in Florida actually. And a little sheath there. First for a second I thought it was a gun, it's a um soldering gun. And what is this right here? Some old tools. Oh, there we go. It's own little sheath and just some other various tools. And down here in the oh, this thing's this thing is not straight here. Let's well no worry. Something's all jacked up here. There we go. Maybe. I did not want to go back. All right, well, let's look under here. Oh, we got a sander. A drill. Win, W-E-N. Oh, salt, another um, soldering gun. And what else? Underneath the sander, what is that? Little cordless drill box, but it's empty. And it looks like a light bulb over there. A floodlight kind of bulb. It's a stack on toolbox, not in the best shape. It's definitely been well used. Some of the drawers are a little bit loose and stuff in places. 
All right, so other than that, who knows, we might find some stuff inside some of this furniture. That's definitely gonna be a project piece. This is cool, but it's, um, that door down there needs some help. Let's see. Oh, we're gonna find some stuff in the drawers here. Got my gold calendar. Just kind of old map. And we got Atlanta in a box. It's a, a game. Oh, this is called 96 Rock. They don't, doesn't exist anymore at the station. License plate there. That's kind of a collectible item here in Atlanta. Got lots of maps and stuff. This is cool. The Civil War chart. Atlas. High Times. Um, some kind of piece of hardware. Kix 101.5. That does still exist. Country station here in the Atlanta area. What do we think is in the freezer? Is there anything in the freezer? Thankfully, no. And it's it's pretty clean overall. So That's one of the easiest things there is to sell. Chest freezers. Everybody wants them, thanks. All right, I'm going to start loading some of this up. And then when I move that, we can check these drawers here. And then we can see, try to see what that stuff is right over in that area. And there's another box right there. It's a Bojangles which is a chicken place bojangles famous chicken and biscuits box back there looks like it's empty from here but there could be something down in there that you just can't see from here so i'm going to load all this stuff up and we will go to the back up oh, let's check this um whoa gosh falling down real quick yeah this is an old rug before i load, keep Yeah, this is that's a pretty cool rug. It's an old one, definitely well made. You see how nice the um, top of it still looks, even though I can just it just has that feel like it's been around a while, and it's probably not the cleanest, but it's still in such a good shape because of the way those were made to hold up. And this chair right here, this chair is awesome. Look at this thing, beautiful. Luckily, none of those are broken right there. But look at the seat here this is cool very nice still don't know what that is somebody hopefully somebody in the video i mean i'll try to do some research later and see if i can figure it out but it's for something specific just don't know what all right on the back of that piece that i showed just a minute ago look at this tag right here from henry clerner furniture company new albany indiana and then it was um, sold in, looks like Sandersville, Georgia. So it's an old piece. It's amazing how they just, it's kind of like a cardboard paperish tag. And then they actually just nailed it onto the back and it just kind of hangs out back there. All right, we got some of this cleared out where I can spin this dresser around. Looks like it's coming, coming apart here on the top. Kind of, I don't know if, it kind of looks like tiger wood a little bit. I don't know if it's quite that quite tiger wood or not. Yeah, it needs a little help. It's got some hardware missing here. Let's see. In the world. Got a bunch of safety pins and um, Mostly trash, I think. Let's see. There's a little cuckoo clock. It looks like... I think it might be silver. It's like a little charm or pendant. Cuckoo clock. Let's see what else we got here. We got casters. So if we're missing any casters, that's probably them there. Waffle House. I worked at Waffle House. Oh, we got a bunch of 96 rock stickers here these are cool if you're in the atlanta it's just one of those kind of vintage you know retro kind of deals that everybody around here knows about but doesn't exist we got buttons so this stuff will actually there's one right there will sell 
All right, that big drawer there is empty. Yeah, this whole thing just needs to kind of go back down in. See that, that nail's come loose? It needs to just, probably when they were moving it. This other big drawer is empty also. And look at this drawer down here. This is cool. It's almost hidden. Some pantyhose. That's a cool drawer down there at the bottom. Yep, yeah, needs a little work, a little help. All right. This mirror here, I'm pretty sure, would go on this dresser. Let's look and see. Yep, that mirror there, that's beautiful. That would go on the back of here. I think this, which is broken, originally probably would have went on the other piece. This is broken now. All right, we've got the bed, footboard, headboard, side rails. I wonder if they're using those things that have the spikes in it for the, <laughs> the um, you know, the cross slats. Okay, now we're gonna look over here. What is this right here? Now right here we've got, this is really cool. Let's move it out here and look at it. Oh yeah, this is really nice. On the little stool here. Look at the bottom here. We got the little metal claw feet with the balls on it. This is really cool. And they're all there, all the feet are there. That's nice right there. Let me give you a little bit of a better view. All right, let's go back here and look at Whatever this is. Okay, there's pedals down there. I'm trying to move it over this way. I think it's going to open from this side. Okay, it's a box. You've got pedals here. Don't really seem like they would do anything. Alright, there's a hinge here, so it must open gotta open like this right here I don't want to break anything but there's a hinge there okay oh other side okay it is a it's a little piano it must be is it electric good lord be careful this thing will come apart Mason Mason and Hamlin Something, something must be missing. I don't know. I Me, mean, is it pump? But I don't see, like a pump organ. But I don't really see how that would be. I am not sure. All right, we got some different stuff going on down here that looks like. Is it? It's almost like this should open up, but then it's there's screws right there, so I don't want to keep coming with it. And there's a little so all right. Not sure exactly how this thing works. If it's supposed to be electric pump. I'm trying to look up underneath it here. I think I think that it's pumped. I think it's missing something. See that there? Where it looks like little air things here. I think there should be something here. It's missing that would connect, and it's a pump organ. I think. All right, we're still looking back here. What in the world is this and this? All right, this is this just like a music stand? Good lord, look at this thing. So that's thing you don't want to you don't want to do a whole lot of pulling and tugging on this stuff because and break it so you got to be very careful until you figure out exactly what you're doing which I don't know what I'm doing 
And this is going to open up some way or another. And I think it's just a, um, it's like a music stand. Like that would open up and hold the music. A little bit. There's the mechanics back there. See, these open up. They might just be stiff from, you know, not being open in a while. So that probably went kind of with this, maybe. I mean, not with it, but they were using it with that. And now we get this cast iron box of some sort here. Not really cast iron, but it's just some kind of bin. I don't know if it necessarily be a, maybe it was a, would be considered a trash bin, but what is that back there? I don't know. I wonder if this attached, I wonder if this somehow attached to maybe like a wood burning stove. Put kindling in there. I don't know. But look at the sides here. It's got the little face. Like this. I don't know exactly what that's for. It's got a little hook right here. So don't know for sure what that was for. But it's really cool looking. Somebody could definitely use it if you had a house that, you know, with, with a lot of antiques and old Victorian houses. So it would make a cool just little trash can in the kitchen. And then still back here in the corner. Okay, here's the clock. We got a closer look. It looks pretty good. They've got the pendulum and stuff there all tied up to protect it. And it's wanting to, to ding right now. Is it locked? Hmm. I can't get, <laughs> it's like nothing, I can't open anything or anything because it's all, I'm scared to break anything in here. Look at the back. Electric? <laughs> Looks like a cord back there, but I don't know. Goodness gracious, man. Any which way I turn it, it doesn't quite want to open. There we go. I don't know if it was supposed to open right then or not. But... Okay. It is. I mean, it's. Oh, world. Okay, the cord I think is for a light. Okay, yeah, it's got a light, light on each side. So those are just the. Ch I don't know if all the pieces are going to be here because I think it's supposed to actually have weights. And then the gong, I don't see that either. Unless it's in here, I don't know where it would be at this point, but I don't see it down in there. So that might not be complete, but that stuff can be replaced. And this thing wasn't turning, so I think I kind of cracked it a little bit when I opened it. But Okay. What else do we have back here? We have the living room set. It looks good from right here. I haven't moved everything though. Okay, that's good. Cause I saw that there were, these have electric recliners. I can see the cord hanging down. These are the plugs for the electric recliners. And then right here we have a Pioneer, like 80s, 90s version of Pioneer, a little stereo, um, stereo cabinet. And it looks like some Pioneer speakers right there. And that's probably gonna be it. We'll see what you want. We could uncover something else, but it looks like that's mostly going to be it. So a few odd pieces. Um, the living room set, from the looks of it, looks pretty good. Living room set should be a few hundred dollars. And everything else, you know, some of this is going to kind of be 
as you know project piece for somebody on this on the other piece that neat you know that's a cool looking piece but actually function it needs some way for those pedals to be connected I haven't looked at the sewing machine yet but yeah it's I mean it's gonna turn out all right the beds very nice from what I can tell I don't really see anything wrong with it and it's got the um, side rails and everything well let me get some of this loaded I'll see if I uncover anything else if anybody knows what that exactly is um, definitely let me know and then we're still wondering about the rack out here oh and then the little stool was pretty cool that was probably with you know the little pump organ right there they would sit on that with the pump organ hold their music up in that stand I didn't even notice on this bed the the carving in it it's like a dragon here there's one down there I haven't turned around the front all the way to see what it looks like but that's pretty cool right there All right, we have an old Kenmore sewing machine. It kind of has a cool look, like a looks like a piece of iron. But that is a um, little bit different than a lot of the sewing machines. You know, obviously, you find a lot of singers, but just the look of this thing is definitely has a different look than most of them that you see. And then we ended up with uh, is it the Pioneer Pioneer little stereo cabinet and a couple nice looking pioneer speakers and i know some of these old speakers are can be worth money but these are pioneer i don't really see a model number serial there's a serial number but but a decent little set of pioneer speakers takes you straight back to like 1991 or something all right we're out here putting some of these items out from the unit we got this little stool here, $50. We're putting $75 on the pump organ as is. And yes, some people might be like, oh, this is worth that, this is worth that. But, you know, we just like to, we know what we paid for it. And we just like to keep it moving. I don't remember what we're putting on this. Like 25 30 bucks or so. We got $40 on the sewing machine. We got the clock here. We're going to put $100 on, on. It is missing the weights and the gong. That can be fixed. The bed, unfortunately, the bed's really, really nice. But it is damaged down on the footboard, you know, it's split where the um, side rail comes in. So we're just gonna put $150 on that. And then we got this bad boy right here. It needs some work, but it's still really nice. A lot of potential, 150 bucks on that. And we got 50 bucks we're gonna put on this little cabinet right here. Obviously it needs some help. $40 on the rug, $50 on the um, the antique coal bin. We did figure out that, which some of y'all probably already knew that this was to put coal in. The little tongs would hang there. And then the rack is a Coke bottle return. It's missing the sign up there. If it had the sign up there, it'd be big money. But we throw all them bottles in there that were in the unit. Gonna put 75 bucks on that, 30 bucks on the chair, a few dollars on that, and we're all good. Oh, and she's buying the chair for $30. Very nice chair. It is marked on the bottom. It's probably worth way, way more, but but we're good with the 30 bucks. Keep it rolling. And then over on the other side here. We go over this way. Here's the living room set. It turned out pretty nice. It's got four built-in electric recliners. It does have a few defects on it, such as right there and a couple other places, but $295 on that right there. And let's walk over this way. There were some other odds and ends that were on there. Hang on just a second, we'll be with And got most everything off of the truck here. And we do have the toolbox, which is full of tools. So overall, you know, not a bad unit at all. It'll, you know, definitely, you know, thousand dollars plus somewhere between a thousand and fifteen hundred dollars. So that's it. Already showed everything was in that. But I'm holding my phone right now. If you like this video, as always, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, you want to see more videos like this, all the storage units we get, and everything else to do with the resale business, hit that subscribe button. You'll have a good one.